looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! Welcome to Raising Healthy Humans. I am your host, Courtney, a personal trainer and health coach and the founder of FormFit, a community where I help busy moms move more. As a busy and sometimes overwhelmed mom of three myself, I understand that it can be difficult to find ways to live and raise healthy families. It is my goal to help provide you with the information you need to help raise healthy humans. All right, today we are talking about what diet is right for you. This has to be one question I get over and over again. What diet should I go on? Which one do you recommend? And I'm going to tell you, unfortunately, I don't have the answer for you. Without sitting down and talking to you personally and finding out what your specific goals are, where you are in your life, I can't tell you what diet is good for you. We are all individuals. We all benefit from different things. And it's going to depend on what stage you are in life. No matter what form of diet you decide to try, whether it be macros, keto, intermittent fasting, paleo, You need to ask yourself, how do I feel when I eat this way? And how do I feel when I eat specific foods? So not only how do I feel when I eat this way, because for the most part, you may feel really good. But then when you eat that kale, you start dealing with some major digestive problems, even though kale is healthy and part of that diet. Okay? So we need to start listening to our body. It's going to tell us. The problem is, is we don't take time to listen to our body. Everything is so fast. We are moving so fast and it continues to get faster and faster that we don't listen to all the cues that our body is giving us telling us something's not right. Do you deal with eczema or psoriasis? Something's not right. Do you deal with gas and bloating? Something's not right. Do you deal with fatigue, tiredness, achy joints? Something's not right. You get the picture? (laughs) Are you getting it? Our body is constantly giving us clues. Are you listening to those clues it's providing you? We have become a society that is asking others to do everything for us. We go to the nutritionist for the meal plan. We go to the personal trainer for the workout. We go to the medical doctor for the prescription. I'm not saying any one of these are bad, but you are outsourcing your health to someone else. It's time to where we really start listening to our own body and communicating, taking time with the person we're working with. If you are working with a nutritionist who is just telling you what to do, they are not the right person for you. If you are working with a personal trainer who is just giving you the program, they are not the right person for you. You need someone who is going to take the time to work with you, to ask you questions, to ensure that you are getting what you need. It is time for you to pay attention to how you feel when you eat 
certain things. Even though that thing might be healthy, it might not be for you right now. We know beans are healthy, but some of us don't have the microbiome, the stru- the healthy microbiome that's going to help us break it down so that we can eat it and get the nutrients out of them. So they may not be what you need right now. And also, if you can't eat them right now, it doesn't mean you will never be able to eat them. You might be able to eat them six months from now. Let's heal the gut. Let's get it protected and working to where you might be able to then eat it. So stop looking at not only your diet as I'm on this for the rest of my life or I can't eat this for the rest of my life. Okay, this is an ever-changing thing. We need different things in different times of our life. So it's important that you don't, don't get too committed to just one specific diet. I have heard so many stories, and maybe you have as well, about these vegan influencers who get caught when they start eating fish or uh, meat, and then they are just blasted for changing their thought process. And maybe they had to do it for a health reason. Maybe they were becoming deficient in specific vitamins and they chose to change their diet because of that. We, got, we have got to get away from feeling like one diet is the right diet for us. Things change. We change. Life changes. Different stages of our life will require different things from us. When I'm speaking to someone who's dealing with perimenopause and they're dealing with the stressors of their children and um, they're really struggling with sleeping because they're waking up with night sweats and they're dealing with, um, you know, a lot of stressors and hormonal changes and shifts in their body. I'm not going to recommend them intermittent fast because they're probably have a heightened cortisol level because of the stress and the lack of sleep. So why am I going to then try to pull them into intermittent fasting for 15, 16 hours a day when that's too much for their body? And I'm just using that as an example because I want you to understand that different phases of our lives are going to require something different. For those moms out there with little ones who are trying to go keto and then are having to make three and four different meals each night for their family, maybe that's not a point in time where you need to be doing that specific diet. Maybe you can just practice mostly a keto-specific diet But then you do allow for some fiber through fruits and vegetables into your diet. And I know keto does allow for that. But I'm just saying, you know, like sometimes we have to make it our own. You need to look at, if you're looking at certain diets, you need to look at what does this diet look like? Because I think some of us, will see these um, specific types of diets where you then see these, I, I just remember seeing this one picture of this like chocolate protein pancake that was slathered with this ooey gooey peanut butter sauce. And it looked decadent. And it was on, it was for a specific type of diet. And it was just based on percentages, like, you know, this much protein, this much fat. Um, It was a macro diet. (laughs) There's no way of getting around it. So it was a macro diet. But I had to question, okay, that looks delicious. And yes, it's in my macros. But what nutrients am I getting out of that pancake or waffle? Am I getting the nutrients I need out of it? Because if that's not something that you're getting, if you're just eating for your macros, my question would be, what's happening to the inside of your body? Yeah, you may look great on the outside, but what's happening inside? And I think that 
is where we, the fitness and wellness industry, have gone astray. And we have this feeling of, or yeah, we're portraying to you all that you have to look a certain way to be healthy. But how many people do you know, maybe you know some for yourself, that look really good, but maybe their hair's falling out. Maybe they're dealing with major aches and pains in their body. Maybe they've lost their period. These are all signs from your body telling you something's not right. You may look good in that mirror, in that mirror but something is not right on the inside. Let's stop thinking that there is a specific look for healthy. Let's start thinking about what is healthy is not the way you look, but how you feel. How do you feel? If you feel good, then you just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so we're not going to get caught up on the way things look it, in regards to body or that delicious looking waffle that we want to eat. I know I want to eat that too, but that's not going to give me the nutrients I need. So I need to rethink and I need to change my taste buds to where they think that strawberry is as sweet as that waffle. And that will happen. The more you eat healthy foods, the more you eat, you know, plant-based, and I'm not saying no fat or no protein. I'm not, I'm not asking you to go plant-based. I'm just saying the more we eat these non-processed foods that are created in a chemical laboratory where they are trying to get you addicted, yes, they are, <laughs> they spend millions of dollars doing this, to where you have to keep eating and craving it. So what can you do to start changing that? By eating more plant-based and whole foods. So your, your meats, your beans, your legumes, your fruits and vegetables. Okay, so think low processed. And that's where we go with the last bit of this in regards to what do you notice almost all of these diets have in common? Stop eating the junk, eat more plant-based foods, right? They all say, almost all of them say green leafy, green leafy vegetables. So if we can start pulling the processed foods out of our diet and start putting more healthy fruits and vegetables protein, legumes, seeds, nuts, all of that stuff back onto our diet. How are we going to change? So to answer your question, what is the best diet? One, it depends on you, what you're dealing with, what you're going through, what your body needs right now. And then two, how does it make you feel? If you feel like you are ready to start making a change in your life and you're interested in working with someone, I do want to let you know that I am a health coach. I would be happy to sit down and speak with you for a little while to see what is the best for you. What diet works for you? What program works for you? And really make this more an individualized approach. Remember, it is important that whoever you are working with is not taking you down a, the same protocol. We have got to get out of that thinking. We have got to get out of thinking that every single person handles things the same way. We are all individuals. And it is important for us to start on this health and wellness journey looking at ourselves. So again, if you are interested, reach out to me. You can email me at Courtney at foreignfitnaples.com. I'd be happy to get on an introductory call with you to see how we might be able to work together. 
and I wish you the best. Let me know what diet you are currently on. How are you working with it? How do you feel? Is there anything that you notice that's concerning to you? Or do you feel great on it? We're, I, we'd all love to know. Um, you can join us in the Form Fit community over on Facebook for where we will be sharing more information. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day.